Hi! In this video, I will show you where to find the different windows you can open in Examine in UCenter, how to arrange those windows and set them as you prefer, and save the workspace you create. Okay, you will probably see different view settings. Amongst the windows you may have by default, you probably will see one with colored bars that appear moving up and down, like that one there. Those bars show the strength of the satellite reception. And as for the other windows you may open, it shows the real-time data collected from your receiver. Now, so within the View tab, click Docking Views, and you see here the ones that are open just now. We have the satellite level, the data, and the compass. One interesting one could be the altitude meter. Let's open that up. You will be able to move the edges of each window as you please and move around the windows in different places. I particularly like the satellite level window, so let's leave it big and we'll move the edges from the other three looking somewhat similar. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, so now you can uh, save a preferred view, like imagine you, you like that setting. So you can save the view by going to Window, the Window tab, and Save Workspace. Yes. Having saved this workspace, I will be able to get back to it whatever changes I make. So for example, Let's add the satellite position into view. We can add it also from the views toolbar, in the upper bar there. Sometimes it's rather tricky to find the way to move the different windows with view center, but once you get to know how it works, it's very easy. Okay. Let's have the world position as well. Okay, we can also add the messages view into the workspace. This is where you can check the messages actually output by the receiver. And of course, if we find we will often work with it, let's also save this workspace. By default, UCenter will save the docking windows set as they were left for the last time. So when opening back UCenter, you will see the workspace with the previous docking windows left on view. The messages view are not saved by default though, so you can add them back again or you can restore a workspace with them on it, as we did, through Restore Workspace From. Being able to save your preferred workspace is very useful, as you can easily go back to the window settings you use more often without needing to adjust your windows continuously. Well, I hope this video helped you finding the different windows you can open to check on real-time data coming from your receiver and also setting and saving your workspace in a convenient way for you. Thanks for watching.